Welcome to a practice SAT math question. In this question we're given g of x equals 4x minus 4 raised to the power of x. We want to know what is the value of g of 3 halves. So to find the function value or to find g of 3 halves, we need to substitute 3 halves for x into the given function. So we'll have 3 halves here, here, and here. So g of 3 halves is equal to four times three halves minus four raised to the power of three halves. So we'll first evaluate this by hand and then check it on the calculator. So for this first product, let's write four as a fraction. So we'll have four over one times three halves. And now we're going to write four to the power of three halves in radical form. So let's review how we do this. If we have a raised to the power of m divided by n, we can write this as a radical where the denominator n tells us the index, then the numerator m is the exponent. So we can have a to the power of m underneath the radical, or if we want, we can write the nth root of a raised to the power of m. So the exponent m can be underneath the radical or outside the radical. The key to remember here is that the denominator tells us the index and the numerator tells us the exponent. So because our denominator is two, the index is two, so this is going to be a square root of four. Since four is a perfect square, we'll write the exponent of three outside the radical like this. And now we'll evaluate. Looking at this first product, notice four and two will simplify. There's one, two, and two, and two twos and four. And since our denominator is one, this just simplifies to six minus the square root of four is equal to two, so this would be two to the third, and two to the third is equal to eight, so we have six minus eight, which is equal to negative two. So g of three halves, is equal to negative two. Therefore, our answer is a negative two. But again, let's go ahead and check this on the calculator. Let's first check our work. Let's first check four times three halves. Which is six. And now we'll check four to the power of three halves. So four raised to the power of three halves in parentheses. We do need these parentheses to make sure the calculator reads this correctly, which is equal to eight, and six minus eight is negative two. Of course, we could have also just typed in all of this at one time, so four times three halves minus four raised to the power of three halves, which does verify our function value of negative two is correct. I hope this was helpful.